Hi guys, today we're going to be unboxing the Gigabyte Aorus Extreme RTX 2080 Ti. Um, as most of you know, the price tag on this little baby is um, a lot. Over a thousand pound for this card. So you would expect it to have some real performance. And hopefully we will be finding out soon. I've got at the moment a 2070 RTX. So I've done some benchmarks with that. And then when we've got this in, we'll do benchmarks and post the results side by side. So let's get on with the unboxing. The first thing you'll notice is how big the box is. It's actually as big as my PC case. Um, it's got a fat boy case. So inside here, um, we've obviously got the card, but I would imagine nine gigabyte for the money. But it's going to be some of the goodies as well. Everything here, um, hopefully, there's a golden ticket like in Willy Wonka where we get to go to the Gigabyte factory, but there isn't, unfortunately. Um, it's just Gigabyte drivers, um, obviously, with some crappy instructions that won't really mean much. Um, um, how to register for your four year warranty. If you don't register you only get one year warranty so it's well worth filling out the website um, auras.com I have to do that from my motherboard. And then what else have we got in here? We have um, oh, we have a stand. That's quite a nice piece of tip kit. So a lot of graphics cards drop at the end so this is a foot um, a clamp that goes onto your card and then there's all different rods to get the right height um, oops. and that screws in now like that and yeah, you can see how it goes and then that will go up there and that will actually stop the GPU from falling that's a nice touch well done Gigabyte for that a lot of manufacturers uh, could do that what would be nice is if they give you the um, card adapter that allows you to put your card in the other way so all the fans are facing the front. Now I have got one of those but for now I'm just going to fit it as a standard GPU and then the next video will be how to install the adapter and get it all up and running. So this is the beast, it's, oh, it's heavy, no wonder it's got a foot with it, that is one heavy beast. So I'm gonna open it. That is beautiful. Look at that. So we have a crazy amount of ports, um, two HDMI's, floor display ports and one USB 3 which then allows you to run a lot more stuff obviously through the um, USB 3. But that, it looks nice and it's not even lit up yet. So I'll put all this back together, um, I'll get my machine stripped, get ready, my PC ready I should say and then I will, we will start putting this in the computer. Just bear with me a few. This holder's not very good and my phone jumped out. The old one I bought is a bendy one and it just keeps wobbling, so I'll sort of give up on that. Right, okay, so we now have the new card coming in. So on the bottom, we have to take that off. We actually put that on the old card before we pack it up. So being careful, make sure it's all lined up, click, we should get a nice step, yep there we go, nice clicking sound and we're in. Okay so first thing before you start putting your power on is get your screws in, now these can be a bit of a bugger especially when you're coming in at an angle, because you sometimes have to just pull the header up like that so you get the hole. Try not to drop your screws inside your case. It's not the end of the world if everything's turned off and you've no power. But because some people do this with power on, it can cause a short and will blow your machine up. So once again now what I'm doing, I'm just going to undo that. Just push it over that little bit just so it clips that edge there like that. I've got the Aorus logo there. You can see that. <clears throat> I know it's not the best camera angle guys, I do apologise. 
Um, so again, we've got six pin, and you just clip them in like that at the end, and they're now eight pin. So in there, same on the other side. So two eight pin headers on there. And that's it, we, we're good to go. So let's um, hit, put the graphics card and the uh, HDMI in. That is bloody stuck in there. I'll just pause it for a second and I'll be back in a tick. Well, I'll explain what I'm doing. When I've tried to pull the protectors out for the, for the plugs, the HDMI and display port, they just over to the side. So what you have to do is just unscrew everything and just move the card over slightly. Just hold it back and then tighten it up. This happens with some of the bigger cards. Um, bad cards where they actually overlap completely, it's been a nightmare you can't always get them out. So I'm going to take an HDMI, which is that, and that goes up to my 4K projector. I've took the DisplayPort one off as well, ready for the virtual reality kit. I'll set all that up after, that'll be later on. For now, I just want to get it working. So, we'll put the power back on. And we will kick everything in. Oh, that looks lovely under there. Look at that. It's gorgeous. And especially with all the other lights on. Most of these lights, well all these lights, are wired up to um, different controllers. So I've got the IQ which is from the Corsair. The liquid cooler that controls um, all the fans. There's five fans going around the system. Once I've logged in in Windows, you'll see they'll switch. And then the motherboard ones are all controlled by the Gigabyte software. And that looks really nice. Now I do want that on shore, so the 45 angle, 45 degree angle bracket I've bought is going to come in very handy. There's no way you want that hidden, is there? Look at that. Wow, I love it. Let's just hope it gives us the power, eh? So now you can see that the software is loaded and my fans now are all, um, they're actually doing rainbows at the moment, which is what I've got them set to. Once you've installed the Gigabyte software, obviously you'll be able to control all the fans, the LEDs on there. But I quite like the fact that it's changing colour. I think that looks really nice. But you don't want it flashing when you're watching films and stuff, so that'll all be set to go off at movie mode. And I've got my two temperatures there. The 27.5 is this side of the case, and the 25.5 is the back half of the case where the PSU is. Um, at the moment, that's not actually venting because it's laid out and the vents are not. If I wire it this way, I have feet underneath that I bought for um, an amplifier and I've stuck them on look really good. So now you'll notice the fans are not spinning because all the software is kicked in, the windows side bit. So we'll, we will see the fan stop light. The fans only spin when they are needed, which Gigabyte were one of the first manufacturers to do it, I think the very first. Um, and the fans actually spin different directions. So two on the outside spin clockwise and the middle one anti-clockwise or the other way around. So you get a nice flow of air through the system. Right, anyway, enough talking. Let's get it geared up and do some benchmarks. Okay, something worth noting. These two HDMI ports don't put out an output unless something's in this one. I defaulted to this end one here on the same as my RTX uh, 2070 but I didn't get any video so I swapped it to that one didn't get any video swapped it to that one and I have video output and on the instructions it shows that that one is also the main display port one so I'm assuming that's the one that will work for my virtual reality um, it has got seven outputs but I think four um, work together so you can have one HDMI three display port or three HDMI, one display port, and then obviously USB-C, um, which is that one there. So just keep them in them. Uh, I just thought I'd 
let you know about that. If you plug it in here, you're not going to get a video when you boot up. Okay, so these are the colour cycles of the fans. This is on Dazzling. There's quite a few um, choices once you've put the software on. I'll work them all up. We've got colour shift. They look really nice. Claws. That's quite cool. And a colour cycle. Then you've got double flash, flash, pulse. I won't bother with the flashy ones because they just look standard and the pulse one. You just change the colour and the speed and the brightness. So I'll switch that to blue like that. And then you've got gradient. Again you can change colours, red and white by default. Down there, we've got blue and white. Lovely. Rainbow loop. Tri color. And again, you've got variations on there. And then you can make your own, you can customise the sequence. And we've got Wayne. Which goes through the Aorus on the top of the card and the Aorus on the front of the card. We're doing the same lighting patterns as well. And I'll click up to them in a minute. Then you've got Intelligence, which is monitoring, that's monitoring CPU temperature. Or GPU, CPU, or GPU fan. So I'm going to put it on CPU. And then you've got off. Which turns your fan you like, it's off. So I'm going to leave it on colour cycle for now, I think. So that looks, it matches the rainbow on my Corsair system. You can see there, I haven't done the cabling yet. You can see there the gigabyte light is changing on top and the logo there is changing in sequence with the lights underneath. So all in all it looks pretty good. And these lights outside like that. So that's it, that's the lighting rig setup. Perfect there, but this case unfortunately is a bit tight for doing it like this. So I've got the HDMI plugged in straight through the back, and then I've got a little extender for the display port which goes there so I can unplug the VR unit without any aggro. That's just going to sit on the back of the desk there, like that. I've got all the other stuff here, too many bloody controls, that's the problem with having all this stuff in it. Looks nice. Oh, the game's not running, so the, the fans are, when the fan goes on to fan stop, and the lights stop as well, which is quite good. Yeah, it looks nice now. So just remember, guys, if you want a bespoke gaming PC, 
um, look up Mobile PC Rescue on Google and drop me a message. Thanks for watching.